edge? Yes. Okay. Another edge. And here's the back here. Yes. See, it's sealed. Yes. Imagine if I informed you that the ancient Egyptians possessed a sinister aspect. They safeguarded dread-inducing secrets for countless millennia. Brace yourself, because scientists have recently made astonishing breakthroughs that completely challenge our understanding of this enigmatic civilization. What further enigmas might be concealed within the depths of Egypt's pyramids and tombs? Come with us as we explore these astonishing riddles that scientists have unveiled in Egypt. Number 1. New Understanding of Mummification For centuries, the common belief has been that ancient Egyptians mummified their dead in order to preserve them. However, new research from the University of Manchester's Manchester Museum challenges this notion. According to these researchers, mummification had a completely different purpose. It was a means to guide the deceased towards divinity. This revelation, presented in the exhibition called Golden Mummies of Egypt, completely changes our understanding of the mummification process. The misconception about mummies originated with Victorian researchers, who mistakenly compared the preservation of ancient Egyptian bodies to the salting of fish. In reality, the Egyptians used a mineral called natron, which was naturally found around lake beds near the Nile, for mummification. Natron had various uses, including cleansing and in temple rituals like applying it to statues of gods. This new understanding presents a complete reversal in our previous understanding of mummies. They were not preserved for their physical state, but rather to assist the deceased in their journey towards divinity. This groundbreaking discovery could potentially redefine the way mummification is taught in schools. Number 2. Geometric Miracle Another astonishing discovery has been made in the realm of archaeology. Underneath the ancient ruins of Tapasiris Magna in Egypt, experts have unearthed a massive and impressive tunnel that has left them in awe. The discovery was made by Kathleen Martinez and her colleagues from the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, who were conducting ongoing excavations at the temple. This tunnel is not an ordinary one, though. It is an extraordinary feat of engineering, measuring a staggering 1,305 meters in length and carved out of sandstone, with a height of 2 meters. To put it in perspective, this is longer than 10 football fields combined, and the excitement does not stop there. Kathleen Martinez believes that this tunnel could potentially lead her to the tomb of none other than Cleopatra, the renowned Egyptian queen, and her lover, Mark Anthony. While the chances of this being true are only 1%, the Dominican archaeologist considers it to be the most momentous discovery of the century. Number 3. Tomb of an Unknown Queen the recent unearthing of a mysterious tomb has sent shockwaves through the historical community and enthusiasts of ancient history. On the anniversary of the finding of King Tut's tomb, archaeologists have made an astounding discovery at the Saqqara archaeological site in Giza. They have stumbled upon the tomb of an undocumented royal queen called Neith. However, the astonishing findings do not end there. Besides the queen's pyramid, more than 300 coffins, mummies, and artifacts from the New Kingdom period have been unearthed. Each coffin bears a distinctive face, distinguishing between men and women, and is intricately adorned with scenes from the ancient Egyptian funerary text known as the Book of the Dead. The most astonishing of all, though, is a remarkable solid gold mask of a woman. Just envision wearing a mask that is worth an amount surpassing its weight in gold. The identity of Queen Neith had remained a mystery until this remarkable discovery, as no historical records had ever mentioned her. The team of archaeologists has, in essence, rewritten history by adding a previously unknown queen to the annals of our knowledge. This discovery holds immense historical significance. Inside the coffins and tomb shafts, the team also uncovered various artifacts providing great insight into the ancient Egyptians' beliefs and practices concerning birth, death, and resurrection. These artifacts include games, small figurines called Shabtis, and statues portraying the deity Ta Sokar. The significance of these finds cannot be overstated, as they contribute invaluable knowledge to our understanding of ancient Egypt. Number 4. 
Lost Golden City. The recent discovery of Aten, a lost ancient city buried in the Egyptian desert for 3,000 years, has sparked great excitement in the field of archaeology. It is being hailed as a landmark find, comparable in significance to the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. Aten, which dates back to the rule of powerful pharaoh Amenhotep III, was also utilized by subsequent pharaohs like Tutankhamun, whose remarkably intact tomb was unearthed in 1922. The excavation of Aten began in September 2020, and remarkably, the city was swiftly brought to light within a matter of weeks. The city boasts various sections such as a bakery, an administrative quarter, and a residential area. The unearthed artifacts include scarab beetle amulets, pottery, and other objects of everyday use. Furthermore, the research team has come across a human burial containing a rope wrapped around the knees. Additionally, they plan to explore a set of rock-cut tombs accessible through stairs carved into the rock. The ongoing excavation at Aten has already revealed a trove of valuable archaeological finds including jewelry, colored pottery, scarab beetle amulets, and mud bricks imprinted with seals of Amenhotep III. Nonetheless, there remains much more to be uncovered, offering the potential for countless new insights into ancient Egyptian civilization. Number 5. Severed Hands Archaeologists have recently made a disturbing and unsettling finding in the ancient city of Avaris, Egypt. During an excavation, a team discovered 16 buried human hands in four separate pits, which is already strange enough. What makes it even more peculiar is that all 16 of these hands are right hands. There are no left hands present. This finding is believed to be the first physical evidence of an ancient practice where soldiers would sever the right hand of their adversaries and exchange it for gold. The two pits located in front of what is thought to be a throne room each contained one hand, while the other two pits held the remaining 14 right hands. It is believed that these pits were constructed in an outer area of the palace at a later time. According to Dr. Manfred Betak, the director of the excavations in Avaris, Severing the right hand of an enemy had symbolic significance, as it was meant to permanently strip them of their strength and power. Choosing the right hand specifically made it easier to count the number of victims. However, the origins of this gruesome tradition remain unclear. The Hyksos, who ruled over Egypt between the 16th and 17th centuries BCE, are believed to have introduced this practice. Yet no records of it have been found in the Hyksos's likely homeland of northern Canaan. It remains uncertain whether the Hyksos adopted this practice from the Egyptians or vice versa, or if it originated elsewhere altogether. The discovery of these hands provides a chilling insight into the ancient world of warfare and brutality. They serve as physical evidence of a practice that is mentioned in ancient Egyptian writings and depicted in art, a practice aimed at stripping enemies of their power and strength. The fact that all 16 hands are right hands adds to the mystery and intrigue surrounding this discovery. Although these questions may never be fully answered, the finding of these hands serves as a stark reminder of the horrifying realities of war and the lengths humans are willing to go to attain power and control. Number 6. Secret Tunnel Experts from antiquities organizations have verified the presence of a concealed passageway above the primary entrance of the Great Pyramid of Giza, which has remained hidden for an astonishing 4,500 years. The use of a groundbreaking imaging technique called muography enabled this significant breakthrough, and it has the potential to lead to even more remarkable discoveries in the future. The Great Pyramid of Giza has always been surrounded by enigma, with scholars still debating its construction methods. Some speculate that extraterrestrial beings may have been involved. Although we cannot confirm or dismiss this theory, what we do know is that the newly discovered corridor could hold the answers to some of the pyramid's most profound mysteries. Measuring approximately 30 feet in length and over 6 feet in width, the corridor is situated on the northern side of the Pyramid of Khufu, Officials believe that it may have served the purpose of redistributing weight around the pyramid's entrance, or leading to an undiscovered chamber. Moving forward, Mustafa Waziri, the head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, has pledged to continue scanning the pyramid in order to uncover whatever else lies concealed beneath its surface. 
The pyramids of Giza continue to captivate and intrigue people around the world, and with each new revelation, we edge closer to unraveling their secrets. Number 7. Golden Tongues Archaeologists in Egypt have recently found mummies with gold tongues in a cemetery near Quesna. These precious tongues were believed to aid the deceased in becoming divine beings in the afterlife. Alongside the gold tongues, numerous other valuable items like necklaces, pottery, and gold scarabs in the shapes of lotus flowers and beetles were also buried with the mummies. This collection of riches is truly remarkable. The discovery of the gold tongues and eyes indicates the ancient Egyptians' belief that the god's flesh was made of gold. However, it is important to note that we are not suggesting burying oneself in gold to attain divine status. Rather, this finding is a fascinating piece of history. Although gold-tongued mummies are not new revelations, they still captivate and intrigue us. The significance of this finding lies not only in the gold tongues, but also in the mystery surrounding the identities of these individuals. This discovery has reignited our curiosity about the ancient Egyptians' beliefs and rituals, the process of becoming divine, the use of gold, and the symbolism of scarabs and lotus flowers. All of these elements point to a complex belief system that we have only just begun to comprehend. However, as we continue to unravel these mysteries, one cannot help but wonder if some secrets are better off remaining buried in the sands of time. Number 8. God of Fun Recent excavations in the modern-day city of Amarna, formerly known as Akhetaten, have revealed that the ancient Egyptians had a lighter side to their culture. Archaeologists discovered a collection of gold jewelry, including rings and a necklace in a burial site. Among the treasures was a ring depicting bees, which was particularly unique and added an element of whimsy to the solemn site. The burial site is located in the northern part of the city, which was constructed by Pharaoh Akhenaten in an attempt to change Egypt's polytheistic religion. However, his reforms were unsuccessful, and the city was abandoned after his death. The discovery of the bees ring has generated significant interest in the archaeological community, shedding light on the playful side of ancient Egyptians. While much remains unknown about this burial site, ongoing excavations at Amarna are stirring anticipation for further discoveries. Researchers are eager to uncover more treasures and potentially reveal other gods associated with fun and entertainment. The finding serves as a reminder that even the most serious civilizations had moments of lightheartedness. As the mysteries of this burial site continue to captivate us, we anxiously await updates and anticipate what other hidden treasures lie beneath the desert sands. Who knows what other gods of fun may be waiting to be discovered? Only time will reveal the secrets of this ancient civilization. In the meantime, let us raise a toast or perhaps sing a melodious tune on an ancient Egyptian harp in honor of bees, the god of good times. Keep an eye out for further astonishing discoveries from the land of the pharaohs. Number 9. Rosetta Stone In 1799, while accompanying Napoleon on his military expedition, a group of scientists made a monumental discovery that would have a lasting impact on the world. The Rosetta Stone. This ancient artifact dating back to 196 BC, contains a decree drafted by a council of priests, affirming the right of a 13-year-old pharaoh named Ptolemy V to rule Egypt. What sets the Rosetta Stone apart is its inscription in not just one or two, but three languages, hieroglyphic, demotic, and Greek. At the time of its unearthing, only the Greek language was understood, making the deciphering of the other two languages an insurmountable challenge. However, scientists eventually realized that the Greek inscription conveyed the same decree as the hieroglyphic and demotic texts, enabling them to crack the code and reveal the hidden secrets. Currently, the Rosetta Stone is housed in the British Museum, although this has sparked controversies as the Egyptians have repeatedly appealed for its return to their homeland. These debates raise questions about cultural ownership and the significance of preserving history. Number 10. Protective Childbirth Tattoos It is interesting to note that some women in ancient Egypt would get tattoos before giving birth. Recently, archaeologists found evidence of this practice on six mummies that were buried at Dara el-Medina, an archaeological site located along the Nile River. 
Finding ancient tattoos is quite rare, but in this case, the mummies had exposed skin, including a woman's lower back that exhibited black lines and a depiction of bees, which represented a god protecting women during childbirth. It is surprising that this practice is not mentioned in the Great Pit, but the discovery of these tattooed women has left archaeologists puzzled. How were these women able to get tattoos in ancient Egypt? Well, it appears that the key lies in skin preservation. Since unwrapping mummies is not an option, archaeologists have to rely on looters to expose intact skin that has survived for thousands of years. According to bioarchaeologists, these tattoos are more intricate compared to earlier Egyptian tattoo practices, and depictions of pregnant women are extremely rare in Egyptian art. So why did these women get tattoos? Some experts believe that they were incorporating protective representations of gods onto their bodies, akin to portable magical amulets. Although the use of tattoos for protection during childbirth may seem unusual to us today, in ancient times, giving birth was a risky and perilous event. The discovery of these tattoos provides new insights into the beliefs and customs of ancient Egyptian women. Number 11. The Labyrinth of Hawara Welcome to the enigmatic and awe-inspiring realm of ancient Egypt. Situated in the heart of the desert stands a structure veiled in intrigue and enigma, the Hawara Pyramid. Erected by the pharaoh Amenemhet III during the 12th dynasty, this pyramid stands out among the others in Egypt. Known as the Black Pyramid, it was constructed using brick stones and coated with limestone, bestowing upon it a raw and rough appearance. However, the most thrilling aspect of this archaeological site lies beyond its outward appearance. Beneath the desert sands surrounding the pyramid lies a complex that has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of ancient history, the Hawara Labyrinth. According to legend, this subterranean structure, unearthed by archaeologists in 2008, was believed to be an extraordinary complex with numerous rooms, a notion confirmed by ancient historians like Herodotus. These mysterious chambers were long considered mythical, but their discovery could hold the key to unraveling secrets about forgotten civilizations and mighty empires that once ruled the world long before recorded history. Reportedly, the labyrinth consists of 12 courts with opposing gates, along with two types of chambers, one located above ground and another concealed below. Although the upper chambers have been explored, the underground chambers remain an enigma. Attempts have been made to reconstruct the labyrinth based on ancient texts, yet the true nature of what lies beneath the sands of Hawara eludes us. Nevertheless, the Hawara pyramid and the concealed labyrinth beneath continue to captivate our imagination, leaving us to ponder about the other hidden mysteries of the ancient world that lie just beneath the surface. Number 12. Valley of the Golden Mummies In the heart of Egypt's western desert lies the Bahariya Oasis, a location cloaked in enigmatic allure. Renowned archaeologist Dr. Zahi Hawass and his team made an astounding discovery here, sending chills down the spines of even the most seasoned experts. Unveiled within the vast burial ground known as the Valley of the Golden Mummies were more than 250 mummies, estimated to be around 2,000 years old. However, as they delved deeper, they realized the magnitude of their find surpassed their wildest expectations. In actuality, over 10,000 mummies were uncovered in total, and each possessed its distinct features. Four distinct styles of adornment were observed, with some mummies adorned with gilded masks concealing their faces and others embellished with cartonage depicting divine scenes. Furthermore, accompanying each mummy were various artifacts, including jewelry, bracelets, food trays, wine jars, and even coins from the Ptolemaic era. Contemplating the mummies, Dr. Hawass couldn't help but speculate about the people who once inhabited Baharia. It became evident that they were affluent, capable of affording luxurious gilding and exquisite embellishments. The prevalence of artisans suggested that craftsmanship was a prominent profession in Baharia during that era. Nevertheless, despite these intriguing findings, questions remained unanswered. 
As the sun sinks below the horizon, casting its rays over the Baharia oasis, one can't help but ponder what other secrets lay beneath the sand in this captivating and enigmatic place. Number 13. The Unfinished Obelisk For countless years, a remarkable masterpiece has remained hidden deep within the Aswan quarries, possessing the potential to challenge your beliefs about the ancient Egyptians and their practices. Constructed from granite, the unfinished obelisk was intended to surpass all previous Egyptian monuments in terms of weight, yet it was left incomplete. The masons ceased their work after discovering a crack in the granite, leaving the obelisk only partially attached to the bedrock. This puzzling feat of ancient stone masonry has perplexed historians for centuries. The process of carving these towering structures out of a single block of stone, their transportation over vast distances, and raising them into position at their final destination elicits numerous questions. Various theories have been put forward, but none have succeeded in solving this enigma. Were the obelisks transported via boat up the Nile? How were they conveyed to the boats and supported by them? Some even speculate that they were not created by human hands, but by extraterrestrial forces. Despite the unfinished obelisk project being abandoned, it has provided invaluable insights into ancient Egyptian stone masonry techniques. Researchers, during their investigations, have discovered preserved marks left by the tools of the workers and traces of ochre colors delineating their working areas, affording a glimpse into the craftsmanship of the ancient world. The mystery continues to unfold, with the unfinished obelisk serving as a mere starting point for a grand adventure through the ages. Number 14. Falcon Shrine A group of researchers unexpectedly discovered a falcon shrine from 1700 years ago in the ancient Egyptian port of Baranaki, and what they discovered inside was quite strange. The shrine contained a stand with 15 headless falcons and a stone structure depicting two unidentified deities. Additionally, an iron harpoon was found nearby, and a Greek inscription in one of the shrine's rear chambers read, Boiling ahead here is inappropriate. This raises many questions as to the meaning behind these findings. Why were the falcons decapitated? What is the significance of the harpoon left beside them? And why is there a prohibition against boiling heads? Some experts suggest that the falcons may have been offerings to the gods, particularly the one with a falcon head. Others believe the harpoon could also have been an offering. However, the prohibition against boiling heads is perplexing. This discovery offers new insights into the intricate religious beliefs and rituals that thrived in this ancient port city. The headless falcons and mysterious inscription prompt inquiries about cults, rituals, and diverse belief systems that merged in Baranaki. Furthermore, the fact that these discoveries were found intact is truly remarkable. Number 15 lifelike mummy portraits. Archaeologists have recently made an extraordinary discovery in ancient Egypt's Fayum area, unearthing a collection of incredibly lifelike mummy portraits alongside their owners. This remarkable find, the first of its kind in half a century, took place in the ancient city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia was a thriving city during the Ptolemaic period and continued to flourish under Roman rule, serving as a significant center for trade and commerce. After centuries of being dormant, the city's secrets have been brought to light by a team of courageous archaeologists. During their excavation of the city's necropolis, the team found two well-preserved mummy portraits, as well as numerous others in various states of completion. These portraits were not ordinary paintings, but stunningly accurate representations of the deceased, intended to capture their likeness for eternity. However, the discovery did not end with the portraits alone. The team also uncovered a range of other artifacts, such as a burial site for mummies and a statue of Isis Aphrodite, an Egyptian Greek deity associated with love. Additionally, they found papyri containing writings in the Demotic and Greek languages, offering intriguing insights into the social, economic, and religious aspects of life in ancient Philadelphia. Based on the expense involved in commissioning personalized portraits, it is believed that the owners of these portraits were likely from the middle class or elite. Mummy portraits are rare in archaeological excavations due to looting, making this discovery even more significant. 